Now to an update on a Topeka shooting. This weekend, Topeka police say a man shot three teens after they tried to steal political signs. The Shawnee County District Attorney Mike Kage is now reviewing the case. And our Cassie Nichols spoke with him just hours ago. She joins us live now with the latest. Cassie? Brooke, I spoke with Shawnee County District Attorney Mike Kage, and he said he should have police reports by the end of today. Then he'll start reviewing the investigation and make his decision. Three teens were shot in Topeka over the weekend for allegedly stealing political signs. Police say the homeowner of the signs then opened fire on the teens. All three teens were taken to the hospital. Now, four days later, Topeka police investigators scheduled a meeting with Shawnee County District Attorney Mike Kage this afternoon to show Kage everything they've learned so far in their investigation. The main question he'll be faced with is whether the homeowner was in the wrong or if he was legally in his rights to protect his property. It's a question that sparked controversy online with many people insisting that KG make a decision to charge the homeowner. KG says people have called his office and he's aware of the social media post, but he says investigations don't have a set timeline. The decisions that we have to make have to be grounded in Kansas law and admissible evidence that's available to us. And so that's all we look at when we're making the decision. He says it all comes down to ethics. If there's no new information needed, then KG said he could have a decision within a couple of days. As for the status of the teens, police cannot comment on that at this time. Live in Topeka, Cassie Nichols, KSNT News. All right, Cassie, that's my understanding that we have asked repeatedly for an update on how those teens are doing and that police just say they cannot give us any more information on exactly where they're at or how they're doing. So hopefully uh, doing okay and recovering tonight. Now, of course, once we learn more about what happens with this case, we'll keep you updated both on air and online at KSNT.com. And tonight we're learning the Topeka